Matthew's here to answer their questions. I feel very fortunate about this. We're going to start with Kapo Lee. Yes. Hello, Kapo Lee. Hi, Harry. Hi, Matthew. So I'm getting older, so I tend to move quickly. And <laughs> I don't want to scare my dates away, but I'm wondering how do I get to the next level without becoming too desperate emotionally or sexually. It's really tricky, isn't it? Because of course, the, how do you look like you're not in a rush when in fact you're in a rush? Right? right. That's tricky. The one key is to get rid of the wrong guys faster. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to rush things because rushing things scares people away, right? That doesn't mean go slow with the wrong guy. Because <laughs> if you're with the wrong guy and he's, he's meandering and he's not sure what he wants, going slow with that guy can waste your life. But if you meet the right guy and he's showing you all the right signs that he's dating with purpose, that he wants something more, you don't want to rush it with that guy or you could ruin it. Because no guy wants to feel that you're going after him because you want something and not because you want him. Mm. He wants to feel he's special, right? So. Yeah. Take your time with the right guy and get the wrong guy out of your life as quickly as you possibly can. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. It tells it like it is. I like that. You're talking about going slow with the wrong guy. You know, I think that's, that's what Jill's been doing. <laughs> 27 years slow. <laughs> Next, we have Genevieve. Genevieve, what is your question from Matt? Hey, Harry. Hey, Matthew. My question is about dating apps. It seems like everybody's on them these days, but it's really hard to kind of weed out the deadbeats, the guys just looking for hookups and, and, and figure out who is actually looking for something more. Yeah, I, I have something very simple for you. Get them on the phone before the date. Mm. I, I, I don't like rules and, you know, break as many of my rules as you want, right? But I, I love principles. And as a principle, I would say, bef in between meeting someone on an app and a real date, have a phone call. I don't have evenings of my life to give up for someone that I don't even know I have chemistry with yet. Right, so yeah. get someone on the phone. I think women have to be far more direct, and direct doesn't mean being serious and aggressive. Direct means you saying to a guy who you've been exchanging texts with for two days, <laughs> hey, I'm back from work around seven. You should give me a call. I want to hear your voice. That's it. Well, by I'd the call, way, I'd call you. you. You'd call me? Yeah, no, no I just like, I like the way you talk. You I like mean, to I, hear my voice. Yeah, no, I do. I'd call you back. I'd, well, I talk to you, Harry. Yeah. yeah. And it's hard for me to like you. I'm sitting here, t it's really hard for me to like you because you're like the smarter, younger, better looking version of me. That's how I felt about King. <laughs> <laughs> it's a circle of life here. It's 